Hey guys, this is GWS here, and it's time for some more secular bullshit to sift through. Take three. So, we have Kyle here, who seems to have problems remembering things that he said about a year and a half ago. Um, in, in this, he's generally talking about college campuses deplatforming right-wingers like Ben Shapiro, Crowder, um, Milo Yiannopoulos and all that which I agree with his comments but here's the fact about Kyle. Kyle is no free speech warrior and you're about to hear it um, so first of all let's hear what Kyle has to say um, about this topic um, when it comes to uh, deplatforming people on college campuses I don't think you should be afraid of Ben Shapiro or Steven Crowder or Milo Yiannopoulos giving a speech because they're really not that bright. <laughs> and again, many people might disagree with me on that, but they're just regurgitating the same kind of talking points that Sean Hannity or Bill O'Reilly have been doing since 1996. They were wrong then. They're wrong now. If you give them a platform and then you give somebody like me the ability to respond to them after they give their speech, I guarantee you the overwhelming majority of people will walk out of that speech going, Kyle's right and the other ones are wrong. Well, first of all... Um I don't really think that you want to talk about giving a platform, Mr. Kyle. Let's see, you got 507,000 subscribers. It's a decent amount. There's a lot of even lower-level right-wingers catching up to you, like Roaming Millennial, who's already close to 250,000. Um, and then you have all these right-wingers that are over a million, and they're growing fast. It's like, yeah, you got the Young Turks, but the Young Turks hasn't grown in years. Um, Kyle here is sitting at 500,000. Steven Crowder's over 800,000. He's probably over a million, but he's at least 850,000. You have Sargon of Akkad, who's a classical liberal, who's over 650,000. You have Stefan Molyneux over a million, and you have... Um, I'm not sure what Ben Shapiro's at. Um, Daily Wire, I think, is 250,000, so he's not a lot. Milo, I'm sure, has over a million. And then you got Mark Dice over a million. So if you're talking about giving right-wingers a platform, you know, that, that's a little bit. But even deeper than that, are you really for that, Kyle? Because I seem to remember some comments that you made just over a year ago about debating right-wingers. So we're going to cue this little clip, and then we're going to see who, what you really think about free speech. Hear whatever they want to hear, I swear. And <laughs> somebody's tweeting at Ben Shapiro, who's a, you know, a right-wing, I guess, commentator, pundit, whatever the fuck you want to call him. And um, they're like, did you see Kyle Kulinski's latest video on trigger warnings? He said he'd debate you in it. You, you game? You, re you game for, down for the challenge? Um, like, okay, dipshit, are you really that bad at listening? And I wouldn't do a debate where they could use shitty debate tactics and we can do a, you know, have a false equivalence there where we're giving the misimpression to the audience that the claim is 50-50. But people just hear what they want to hear. I specifically said I wouldn't debate. But people are like, oh, he said he debate, he debate, he debate. You ready to debate, man? You want to debate? Guys, get it out of your fucking heads. I'm not going to debate Steven Crowder. I'm not going to debate Ben Shapiro because they, they're they preposterous human beings. <laughs> they really are. Like, I don't deny that they believe what they're saying, but if you, as Steven Crowder does, he just fucking tweeted the article out again the other day. He genuinely believes that Hitler, Adolf Hitler, is a liberal. But would I give a speech after they give their shitty speech and correct them? You bet your ass I would. Of course I would. But there's a fundamental difference between that and a debate, so don't get it twisted. Anyway, I don't know. People are, they're fucking hard over this idea of me, uh, you know, talking to these idiots. I'm not going to talk to those clowns. There you have it, folks. Kyle Kalinske, when push comes to shove, when it all comes down to it, he's not going to debate right-wingers. The closest he'll come is Libertarians. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb here. And just assume the fact that Crowder is absolutely willing to debate 
somebody like Kyle and give Kyle a platform on his vastly superiorly viewed show with many more viewers and a subscription model with those viewers, mind you. So, we know Kyle was chicken shit back then, so I'm still wondering, is Kyle chicken shit today to debate Ben Shapiro or Steven Crowder? Especially considering, number one, these people are way outgrowing all the left-wingers, especially people in the TYT network. They're not growing that much anymore, and if you look at viewers per video, it's not even close anymore. And so, is Kyle going to be a chicken shit forever, or is he going to come out and debate? Because Kyle has a lot of ideas right there. He named them. Adolf Hitler is a liberal. Great! Let's debate it. The right-wing talking points he talks about. Great, let's debate it. The, um... Just all these things that Kyle disagrees on. Wouldn't we all, secular talk fans, Crowder fans, Shapiro fans, like to see this? Because... And and the thing is, I'm not even so sure Kyle wants to see this. Because if you look at how badly Shapiro stomped Jank Uger, it wasn't even a contest. That debate was not even a contest. Jank got slapped around. The same thing happened when he debated Ian Coulter, too. Ian Coulter slapped Jank around. And that's the reality. The only debate I can really say a left-winger won is Anna Kasparian did beat Ian Coulter in the Politicon debate. That's the only one. So, you're giving up the lead here. Are you going to continue to stay in your shell? Or are you going to come out and debate right-wingers, debate me? And speaking of that... I have my own Discord server, if you haven't seen that, Um, and I would also like to host some debates between left-wingers, right-wingers, left-wingers, libertarians, etc., any combination of those main groups, and, and I would like to see, you know, if you want to have a debate on Hitler did nothing wrong, you are more than welcome to do so on this server more than welcome. If you want to debate that communism is king and Stalinism is king and that we should have um, 200 million people in gulags in this country, then you're welcome to debate it. Because unlike Kyle, unlike left-wingers, people on the libertarian side and people on the right, whether or not you agree with them, and I disagree with right-wingers on a lot, The fact is, they're the ones who are debating, and they are the ones with the actual message. Anyhow, thanks for listening, guys. God bless.